And joining us now is uh, one of the organizers of this event, uh, Reverend uh, Themo Patriotis. Thanks so much for being with us today. Glad to have you out here, Royce. And uh, tell us about Paddle Jam. What is this event and how did it come to be? Okay, great. Uh, Paddle Jam is a festival, first of all, and it celebrates uh, paddle sports, food, and music, uh, and really centers on, uh, on coastal living on the Forgotten Coast. Uh, we happen to be at Apalachicola today. Sunday we'll be out on St. George Island. And uh, hopefully over the course of time, the festival will grow. Uh, Carabel, Port St. Joe, St. Mark's, Mexico Beach, as uh, coastal Forgotten Coast communities uh, celebrate what living on the water, primarily through paddle sports, food, music, local crafts, and vendors. Uh, just an opportunity for a community to come together and, uh, and just have some fun. And, uh, you know, lots of different festivals do, do lots of unique and great things. And uh, our focus happens to be paddle sports. Uh, this morning we, we had kayak races, uh, a 5K and a 10K. Uh, that's a new element, and it's going to be part of uh, the Paddle Jam lineup. Um, we added a uh, film festival, real paddling film festival. And, of course, the, the main event is Saturday. and Today it's uh, Saturday afternoon. We're doing the Guinness Book of World Record largest gathering floating kayak raft. And so uh, we'll launch here at uh, Battery Park. We'll go out into the bay. The boats will all raft up for 30 seconds, and uh, hopefully we'll break a world, a world's record. So that's, that's the idea. And, and where did the idea for this event come from? Oh, wow. Well, uh, well I, I've got to admit that, that it was kind of something that we kind of stumbled upon. Uh, we were looking for a way to uh, do a fundraiser for at-risk children, youth, and families. And we want to do a fun fundraiser, a fun fundraiser. And so uh, we were having a kayak outing with our youth group, and we said, well, hey, you know what, why don't we look at what can we do and combine fundraising and kayaking, and then we kind of, kind of fell into this. And then, of course, local government, towards TDC, uh, the city of Apalachicola, huge sponsor, uh, Florida Seafood Festivals, and so a lot of energy came in, a lot of people with, with a lot of talent uh, who had done this before and said, well, instead of one event, can you make a festival? And, and, and then Paddle Jam just kind of just started to grow. And, and it's kind of grown from the bottom up as uh, different people are, are saying, can we do this? Um, have you ever thought about doing that? And so, uh, you know, that's one of the, the really fantastic elements of, of this kind of homegrown festival. Yeah. Okay, it's not coming from, from a, uh, up, it's coming from the bottom. Good deal. And this is a three-day event, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Friday, uh, kickoff is Friday from 5 to 9, and uh, Saturday is from 9 to 6, and then Sunday is from 9 to 3. And just kind of do a quick run over of what happens each of those days so people okay. kind of know yeah, the event you have going on. Friday night, we, we have the opening of the festival, um, and we're taking registration for all events uh, here at the community center. And it's a, it's a great facility. Uh, this it's just really tailor made for an event like this because you've got the you know you got the infrastructure here. And so Friday is uh, registration, and then we're doing praise in the park, which is uh, all the Christian bands in the community come together. Um, at that same time, of course, there's there's music offered in uh, the clubs and the bars here in Apalachicola. So you know if Christian music isn't your thing, uh, there's plenty of great local musician talent. You know, at uh, Tapas Bar, at Eddie Teaches over at the island, at Bowery Station. Uh, and so, you know, we, we want to encourage that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, food, we got a lot of great food vendors. And then we have outfitters, so they're doing demos, doing water-based demos, doing uh, just instructional stuff right here. Nonprofits, um, we've got you know, Apalachicola River Riverkeepers. Um, we've got the uh, Audubon Society, you know, just helping to educate people about... Uh, critical matters, whether it might be protecting wildlife sanctuaries or it might be protecting water-based resources. So you've got the nonprofits, you've got the, the local businesses, you've got the outfitters, all coming together and everybody just kind of doing their own thing, but doing it together and uh, it just creates this synergy and it's exciting. That's Friday night. Um, Saturday, uh, of course, you know, we're, we're busy early in the morning trying to get people registered for the kayak races. So Saturday morning, registration is 9 a.m. Uh, we're registering to get people in the water, kayak racing between 10 and 12. 
And then there's a little break. People come back, uh, factors. So people came back and said, well, you know, what can we do in between? And so they're just going out for some local excursions. Okay. Good deal. And so uh, people have just kind of gotten together, didn't know each other, and said, you want to go paddling? So uh, we had about uh, a half dozen people that headed out uh, Big Toe Island over through the channel and go out to the bay. And they're going to just do a kind of just, just a paddle. Good. Three o'clock, we launch for the Guinness Book of World Records. So uh, in between that, you'll see right now, there's people that are staging their boats, yeah, yeah. okay? And we got crews down here to help unload people. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of hospitality is a key thing. Oh, yeah. So, you know, if you feel like, hey, you know what? I don't have the energy to do all this. Hold up. We'll unload your boat. Good. We'll get you in the water. You know, we'll help load you back up, and we'll get you out of here. Um, so that'll go on to about five. Five to six, we'll have the awards. We'll have uh, just kind of a wrap-up. And then six o'clock, we're done tonight, and we invite people to go and support you know, local businesses, go out to a restaurant, have a nice meal, you know, go, uh, you know, watch, uh, you know, a band play. But, you know, the idea is uh, let's let's look at all the possibilities and let's put it all together and just have a lot of fun. It's Sunday, we're out at St. George Island, okay, 9 a.m., uh, worship on the water, Regatta State, Regatta Park over on the island. We've got a half hour worship service on the water. It's a lot of fun. And then there'll be stand-up paddleboard yoga. Okay, and then after that, there will be a one mile and a three mile stand up paddleboard race. Music and food going the whole time. It's the same thing, festival happening, but in a different location. So it's not just Apalachicola. I mean, it's Forgotten Coast, yeah. and we like to see those those venues spread, and we like to see the excitement. You know, so folks who are watching this say, "Hey, we want to be part of this," and, and we got some ideas. You know, contact Forgotten Coast Paddle Club. You know, Paddle to Love's the website. Good deal. Anything else you want to tell the people? Uh, no, uh, I appreciate uh, Forgotten Coast TV. Appreciate all the help that you that you do for us promoting this. And uh, you know, the idea is, you know, make this a destination. Third weekend of May every year. You know, and uh, we we're here rain or shine. Yep. Uh, we're here whether the wind's blowing or it's dead calm. Uh, it's a perfect time of the year you know, uh, to come down here and make this a destination for maybe it might be a day, it might be a weekend, make it a whole week. You know, explore yeah. all the possibilities, you know, and connect and network. We had uh, a lady came last year from Colorado. Wow. She came back again this year. Good there deal. was a couple here that raced. Uh, it was her first time in the boat. She went on a 5K race with her husband. Wow. First time in a kayak. Good deal. Yeah, they had a great time. So it's not just for professional kayakers. It's not for experts. Um, about 30% of the people that participate in the record attempt are first-time kayakers. And you can rent the boats here. You know, the, the, the festival rate is $20 for a kayak with a personal flotation device and a paddle. And the local outfitters are happy to, to help you out, you know, to take you on a demo, to give you some, some information. Everybody wants to make, uh, you know, Forgotten Coast a destination for paddle sports. So, I mean, I, I stress that. I probably said it 10 times. But, you know, come on down and have some fun with us. Good deal. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Royce. Yes, sir. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Good deal. We've had an absolutely great time here at the Paddle Jam today. And if you want more information about this event, they have it every year, third week in May. And you can check them out online at paddletolove.com. I'm Royce, and we'll see you right back here on the next edition of the SGI Beach Show.